What is going on, everybody? Happy Monday. How's everybody doing out there? Hope everybody got their week off to a fantastic start today. I want to talk about that is right, Teammate AI. You read it in the description. You clicked on the video. You know what's going on today. I want to discuss what we should expect from the Teammate AI now that we know it is coming back in summer 2020. At least that's what Ubisoft has told us. Patch 2.0.5 will be coming out in June. Expect it late June. I expect a couple months after that, two to three months after that, we should be seeing the Teammate AI in another title update or, or patch. So I'd like to really discuss today, kick it with you guys, and um, really hit, hit, hit the fine bullet points and what we should expect and what we should want from the Teammate AI moving from Ghost Recon Wildlands. Like, I don't even want to pretend at this point that the teammate AI was good in Wildlands. I know a lot of people were disappointed in Breakpoint with the fact that we didn't have teammates. But if the teammate AI is much improved and that's why we didn't get it because they really had to rebuild it from the ground up, it will all be worth the wait. But let's get into it right now, right off the bat. What should we really expect? What should we want from our teammate AI? First, I think is the most important thing at this point. We should have individual controls for each teammate. I don't care if there are two teammates or three teammates, however many teammates, we should have individual controls for all teammates. As you can see here from Ghost Recon Wildlands, when you give the order, right? So I'm giving a go-to order. Basically, this is our move to position. You give that go-to order, all three of them go to the position. Right off the bat, individual controls for each teammate. The second thing I'd like to see addressed that was really, really bad in Wildlands. As you can see, I'm in a fight here with Unidad. After I give this go-to order, the AI will go to this position and really just sit there. They don't have an open fire hold fire mechanic in this game from the cog wheel as you can see you could fire hold go to and regroup so the fire as you all know if you've played ghost recon wildlands when you tell them to fire they will just go on rambo mode you can't control them you can't tell them to go here and fire, go there, fire. They just go, they just kill anything that they see. They run around like idiots and they just kill everything. The hold mechanic works as literally hold and do nothing. If you tell them to hold in the middle of a firefight, they will hold and get shot and die. Sometimes they'll fire back, it's rare. The hold order is basically useless. I really never understood it. It's basically a way to just get your teammates killed. The go-to, as we know, you could tell them to go to a position, but they will walk by bad guys unless they're actually fired upon. And then regroup will regroup. So first, individual controls, like I said, for each teammate. Second, very, very important here. This is the most important, I think. I want the ability to open fire, hold fire, separate from go to and hold position or move to and hold position. So if you're not understanding where I'm getting, where I'm going with this, you should have the ability to tell your teammates, hold here, but open fire. And they will sit in an overwatch position and pick off enemies that they see. You should also be able to tell them to move to a position but hold fire so they can move to a position and not shoot anybody you should also be able to tell them to move to a position and open fire so from moving to the position you're at to the position you tell them to go to there they have the open fire command so anybody they see they'll they'll shoot these two commands open fire hold fire move to hold are basically the bread and butter of of any squad controls it, and i was really 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 upset that in wildlands they had missed the mark with programming these guys 
This is probably the most important thing that they could nail for the AI teammates. You need to be able to tell them to move to a position and either open fire or hold fire or hold this position, but open fire and hold fire. I can't stress that enough. I really hope this is what they have been working on, individual controls, and what I just said with the open fire, hold fire, move to hold position. If you can, if these two things are in the game, I think the majority of people will be happy. But let's move forward with what else I would like to see with the AI teammates. So we have a lot of gadgets in the game. And I think at the bare minimum, they should be able to throw frag grenades and flashbangs. You should be able to point your crosshair somewhere and tell them to toss grenade or, or toss flashbang and they'll throw it there. Now, as far as clearing rooms or, or uh, you know, there, there's, there are really no doors in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. All the doors are, are like Star Trek doors. You move, you go to a door and it just opens. So there's really no type of kicking down doors and breaching. So as long as you could aim your crosshair and tell them to throw a frag, this will suffice in this area. You'll be able to, to be outside of a door or a, a uh, building and you walk close to the door, the door will automatically open like how this game is and you should be able to perhaps tell them to toss a frag in there. Now, it would be cool if there was a breach command. If you could perhaps point in a doorway into a building and give them the order to to breach and they'll clear that room maybe they'll automatically throw a flashbang and clear the room accordingly this is very similar to what socom had back in 2002 socom 1 the command wheel in socom was so crazy they had so many options in socom almost 20 years ago that i fail to see how developers today cannot do the same thing now, 20 years is a that's a career, you know, for your for your life. That's basically a career of work. So we should make no mistakes about it. People in the industry today are not the same people who are making your Splinter Cell One, who are making your SOCOM games. A lot of these guys have moved on. A lot of them, I'm sure, have retired. Maybe some of them are still in the industry, but we really need to to hold the developers' feet to the fire when it comes to the commands for this AI teammates because. Believe you me, if the AI teammates come out and they're anything like Wildlands, it will be all for nothing. It will be a waste of time. People will hate it. Uh, I think they really need to make sure that these AI teammates are not just there for just to look good like they were in Wildlands. They really need to have uh, options. They really need to have a, a, a lot of a command wheel that is in-depth. And gives you the ability to truly give options to these guys where it feels like you're actually a commander on the battlefield. In Wildlands, it was very, very simplistic. It was very just, uh, they were oh shit buttons basically. How many times did you really tell them to go to? None, right? Because if you remember in Wildlands, you realized if you just let them follow you, the enemies wouldn't see them. If you gave them the command to go to somewhere, the enemies would see them. It would. It was a foggy area with how it worked, but more often than not, you just let them follow you, and then when you needed an oh shit button, you you hit open fire, and they ran around like Rambo. Three Rambo's running around, joined at the hip. So I hope we really have strayed away from that. I hope they really rebuilt this from the ground up. So so uh, individual controls for each teammate: open fire, hold fire, move to hold position. The ability for, the, for them to throw frag grenades, throw flashbangs, even place mines, things like that would be really, really cool. Not, not, you know, if they can't do that, that's fine. But if they could throw a flashbang, that would be really cool because people will use that to breach, to breach rooms and to breach areas. So I know people would utilize that a lot. So my next issue is line of sight, shooting through walls, and what we really saw in Ghost Recon Wildlands. And the issues that the AI teammates had with targeting enemies. They basically must have had a really hard time figuring this out. Which is why it scares me that if they couldn't figure it out from the time they made Future Soldier to the time they came out with Wildlands. 
I really don't know if they're going to nail it in breakpoint. You can't have your teammates shooting through walls. You can't have them engaging enemies that they don't have line of sight. This is very, very important in my opinion because breakpoint is is wildlands was too but the game is very terrainous you have guys uh, up in is that even a word terrainous <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of ter uh, different levels of terrain in breakpoint so you have all these hills you have all, all this mountainous terrain then you have guys up in guard towers i don't want to see the enemy the teammate ai engage enemies that they can't see that they don't have line of sight with so if these if these issues have been addressed right if the team has worked on ensuring that we have we can control them individually we can tell them to open fire hold fire separate from move to and hold position if they have the ability to throw a frag grenade and throw a flashbang and if they engage enemies that they could only uh, see line of sight i think the game will take a turn for the better i think it will be a huge improvement to not only the game but to the to the command system to the squad system in the game i think a lot of people would be happy uh, these are the this is the bare minimum i think of how these guys need to function in order for this game to to get better because believe you me if they put these guys into the game thinking that oh we just need to get them into the game and they suck just like they sucked in wildlands people are going to be pissed it'll probably be the nail in the coffin for the for a lot of people in the community and obviously there's not a lot of people left in the community there's the few hardcore players that still play that are still on the forums and still talk about the game and I know there's a lot of new players getting into the game, but for the people who have been sitting here waiting for the AI teammates, if these basic things aren't addressed and these options aren't included for the AI teammates, I think it'll be all for nothing. I think it'll be a huge waste of, of time for what the developers could have been doing in the meantime. Perhaps they are working on this as a it's like a means to an end for a future game and they're just kind of getting it out in breakpoint i don't know all i know is that it can't these guys can't act like they act in wildlands they need to be a lot better in ghost recon breakpoint those are the things i wanted to discuss today those are the things i wanted to get across because i wanted to make a video talking about it i wanted to get your guys input on what you're hoping to see the AI teammates can do. Make sure you comment down below. I want to uh, really engage with you guys and, and figure out what you're looking for for the AI teammates because at this point, it's just a discussion. It's it's not like this can uh, sway developers of what they can build and can't build. You know, they're finalizing it now. So what they've built is it's going to be ready to go in a couple of months. I just hope that they did the right thing and they didn't just put something together like they did in Wildlands that really feels unengaging and just not fun. So you all let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you are really, really looking forward to with the AI teammates, what you want to see them do, the abilities you want to see them have. You know, do you want to see them be able to use <laughs> your class ability with whatever class you're using, things like that. I think that might be a little too much that maybe we won't need, but I think it would still be awesome. I just think the, the basics with what I covered right now, I think that's the most important thing to make the majority of people happy. So you all let me know what you think in the comments. We'll discuss some things. Let me know what you thought of uh, the things that I, I brought up in comparisons to what we saw in Wildlands. And yeah, we'll kick it in the comments. We'll talk about it. And hey, man, a few more months and we should we should really see. It's already May. May's going to come and go. It'll be June. We'll be waiting for title update 2.0.5. And then after that, we'll, we'll just be, you know, biting our nails, waiting in anticipation for the AI teammates for the next title update. And uh, so, yeah, and the live event should be coming out soon. But that is all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Let me know what you think in the comments and we will definitely.